about uh, the fact the game is in Toronto next year and what we can expect in you know, your goal for obviously one uh, of I think uh, I, you, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a different All-Star game because you know it's, it's going to be it's going to be crazy up there. And uh, for me, you know, yeah, my expectations is definitely to be there and just to represent our, our country. Uh, I mean, my team and the country of Canada. Kyle, uh, I just want to get your impressions. You faced him a few times with people in the Marcus Smart. Just kind of patting him, just getting after you a little bit, and then yeah. kind of got out of it. Oh uh, man, like I said to you before, that kid's good, man. I think he. Uh, I think he has the ability to to really um, grow and, and be a lead guard and uh, be a leader. You know, I think he, he has that 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 toughness and that mentality to be a leader. And I think he he's really going to keep growing and uh, just developing. The big thing for him is just to keep developing. You know, no matter the situation, just keep continuing to work, get better. Don't worry about you know the things that's going on. Just continue to, to grow as an individual. How tough is it to be a lead guard? You're a young lead guard trying to get your feet wet and, and, and season yourself. How tough is that? It's very tough. It's real tough to be honest. You know, because when you first come in the league, you're just trying to figure it out. You want to fit in, and I think you know once you're a leader, it, it'll come back around. Your teammates will respect it, and it kind of falls on to you. You know, and just about the way you work and the way you approach the game, and um, I think it just falls on to you. Now, you spoke about the fan base in Canada. We've been here a few years now, though. We're looking at the growth of the game overall when you see some yeah. of the young players, not only in the league, but just around the city, around the country. It's crazy. Dude. I think that the growth is amazing. Uh, everybody's, you know, people are starting to come up there to recruit. And, you know, honestly, I think they're that the players are putting, the kids are putting more passion and, and more work out there because they see, you know, you got three number or two number one picks back to back, you know, from Canada. So, you know, they see the work. If you put the work in, anything's possible. Do you, are you at the point as a quasi-Canadian taking any pride in seeing Canadian kids coming uh, up? I just like to see great basketball and, and great basketball players. You know, I, agree, I love to see these kids just go out there and give it their all and, and, and play good basketball. Hey Kyle, uh, Fox Hill Radio. What have you embraced about living in Toronto? Uh, uh, the culture, the culture. You know, I think that's one of the things that people don't, you know, don't get to experience because the culture is so great, great there. The diversity of people. Um, you know, you, you, my son goes to school and he's in class with all type of uh, different uh, people. It, it's, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. So you know, my, my kid having that diversity in it right now is uh, awesome. Have you thought ahead of the All Star Game being in Toronto next year yet? I know you just got here, but yeah, I mean. I just got to ask that question. I think it's going to be a it's going to be an unbelievable show. It's going to be fun. Um, it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be a good time. I asked Andrew Wiggins if he's looking ahead to next year to be in the main stage. What's your impression of him so far? I mean, that kid's playing well. He's going to be probably rookie of the year. He's playing extremely well. I think his confidence is getting higher, and I think he's just starting to fill out his abilities. Can you tell us the difference between your on-court personality and your off-court personality, the ball player and the family man and father? Um, on the court, I'm fiery, and you know I want to win, and I, I take no, no, I take no BS. But when I'm at home with my family, I'm, I'm a pushover. <laughs> I'm a pushover. You guys had this dramatic Game 7 series last mm -hmm. year against mm -hmm. the Nets. How much motivation is still there, and how can you keep that up in the day-to-day -day business of the NBA schedule? Well, I don't think we worry about that, you know, Game 7. We don't worry about that. I think we just we're continuing to grow from, you know, that playoff series in general. And I think it's been it's been fun so far. Have you talked to Justin Bieber since he helped campaign? No, I haven't talked no. to him. No, or Drake? No, no. No, I talked to Drake. I was, I was, yeah, I was with Drake. But me and Drake, we don't talk. We talk about just in general. In general. Yeah. Thank now, you. Now, Steph Curry said you and him are both big time golfers. Yeah. He's better than me. <laughs> Is he? How's he? Like, you guys you play a lot together? Well, no, I haven't played with him yet. But, you know, we, we share the passion. Every time we get together, we talk about golf. And uh, you know, that's something I do in the summertime to kind of get my mind off of basketball, relax. You know, just enjoy the, the beauty of nature. How long have you been playing? A couple years now, uh, but I've been, I, I love the game, and um, it's one of the things where it's mentally strengthening for me. You have which way? Right now, I don't know. I, I'm in. The, I'm in. I'm not, I'm not worried about that right now. I can't. It goes up and down because now I can't play. I'm in the winter. I got to work. Uh, what do you think about the, the idea of reassessing the way the playoffs are set up? The commissioner has mentioned looking at that. Uh, I mean, honestly, as long as I make the playoffs, I don't even care how it goes. As long as I make it.
but is it something that you'd be welcome to a change? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I don't. I, it's not something I can uh, go into detail about because I've never thought about it. Um, but if it happened, it happened, and you know we'll have to adjust to it and, and go from there. What about 